Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today is a continuation of my Payday 2 build series, where I make a build for every perk tech in the game. This is my crook build. For the primary, it's the Akimbo Cross Kill Pistols, modded like this. A raw tech suppressor. Any boost, although I don't have one. The micro laser. The engraved cross kill grips. The magazine with amaritude, and finally the vented slide. For the secondary, it's the Grim 12 gauge shotgun, modded like this. Dragon's breath rounds. A concealment boost. Auto fire. Little brother foregrip. Compact laser module. And finally, the big brother magazine. Now for the perk deck, Crook. What is Crook? Crook is basically an armored dodge deck. Crook allows you to have a little bit of tankiness and dodge at the same time. Now, some people do one shot armor, two shot health, and have quite a bit of dodge with Crook. However, I choose a different approach. I think two shot armor, one shot health, with a little less dodge is much more effective. I feel a, a two-shot armor is much more consistent than two-shot health, first of all, because uh, armor regens faster than health. And second, two-shot armor is much more consistent and better to rely on than the RNG of dodge, I find in many cases, because dodge can be inconsistent, it's just RNG, whereas two-shot armor will always help you and will always save you one shot. And you'll still have armor. So I always go for that. With the armor, it's the heavy ballistic vest. To get that two shot I was talking about earlier. For the throwable, it's the Molotov cocktail. So because we are going to zerk in this build, the Molotov is for zerking. For the deployable, it's the trip mines and shape charges. Almost all the skills we will be getting will to be boost our weapons DPS and make this the DPS centered. But with having deep trip mines and shape charges, we can help our team and be more objective based for our team. For the melee, it's the ice pick because we are getting melee skills and the ice pick has good concealment. In mastermind, nothing. In enforcer, resilience basic to start the tree. Die hard ace to get that two shot I was talking about earlier. Shock and all, so we don't always have to switch to our uh, shotgun to take out shield sight, basic to armor gate, and Iron Man basic to also help get the two shot armor I was talking about before. Hardware expert to fix drills faster and to start the tree like always. Drill sergeant basic, so drills timer is decreased. And finally, more firepower ace to get more trip mines and shape charges, just, you know, because we're getting it. Steady grip basic for more accuracy. Fire control for more accuracy. And finally lock and load basic so we can run and gun. Duck and cover basic for more movement speed. Inner pockets ace for more concealment with melee weapons and our ballistic vest because we are going for crits. Second wind basic for even more movement speed. The professional ace for more accuracy and stability with our pistols. Low blow aced for a consistent 30% crit chance because we're at 23 concealment. And finally, unseen strike basic for a situational extra 35% crit chance for when dealing with specials or dozers. Equilibrium basic to start the tree. Akimbo aced for stability penalty increase um, and, uh, I mean, decrease and. 50% more ammo with our pistols. Desperado Ace for more accuracy and reload speed with our pistols. And finally, Trigger Happy for an additional 120% damage increase for every hit with our pistols. Nine Lives Ace for an extra down before Custy. Good on Destin, that's one down. Martial Arts Basic to start the tree. Bloodthirst Ace 
for more for the melee skills I was talking about before. Berserker aced for even more damage with our pistols and the shotgun. And finally, frenzy aced to get to as the last skill needed to get that two shot armor I was talking about before. Now, how do you do this? Now, with the skills we've gotten, this is very good for DPS. Low blow aced, unseen strike, trigger happy, berserker. All of these meant to make our pistols really powerful. And I mean really powerful. They can kill dozers in seconds. However, because they're so good, they do have bad ammo pickup. And you can lose ammo with them from time to time. That is where the fire grim comes in. If you've ever played with this, you know this thing never runs out of ammo. So once you start running low on ammo with the pistols, switch to your fire grim. And you can get all that ammo back with the fire grim. So, yeah, it's really just for getting ammo back. Now, because all of these are for DPS, like I said before, the trip mines and shape charges come in. You can help your team with objectives and get objectives done too. But remember, you are DPS. You are the one killing everything. So that's what you should do. Now for a quick explanation on how to zerk with this build. Zerking is important to get high break points so you can do lots of damage. One Molotov, straight down. Stand in it until your armor is all the way broken, and then wait 4 health ticks. After that, you'll have very high berserker, and you'll be able to do good amounts of damage. Nothing's up here except my blood pressure. Places in 
Watch your angles. 